Hi, ladies. Hope everyone's doing well. Welcome to another week of in the quarantine with Mac and Snooky. Uh, thanks to the girls that participated last week with the perseverance. We had a couple Flipgrid entries, so thank you for that. Uh, we appreciate it. This week, our topic is going to be rugby culture, and the best the best thing about playing rugby is being a rugby girl mm -hmm. and all of the the fun shenanigans that come along with it. You ladies really inspired us this week with your video tribute to the seniors, uh, putting the, the yard signs um, for them. And, and that's just everything that's fun about being, being a rugby player and, and having those bonds with each other and doing those things to pick each other up. Um, so that's exciting. I know this week is also a, a fun week for us as we have our alumni week. Uh, we were supposed to have an alumni game this coming Saturday. Um, but that has been canceled. So it's just today I, I spent some time reviewing uh, old pictures and going through old memories. And it was just really fun to see uh, the times that I've had with my teammates. So we always had rookie vets. Um, and so when I was a rookie, that a brand new player on the team, I was a little mischievous rookie. Um, I got into a lot of trouble. Like I took a pie over to the team dinner and put it in the president's face and then like threw water on her and you know, it was, all, it was all good and fun. Um, so it's just, it's nice reviewing th those memories. If that's surprising to anybody, do you really know Mac? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll share one of my um, fun stories. So when we had gone up to play Oshkosh, when I played for Whitewater on the team, um, we had lost and it was a really tough game. And so it's a, it was about, I think it's like a two hour drive back home. And so we thought about like, uh, how can we kind of brighten our spirits and do do good on the way home and make it more than just about that loss? And so Mac, being Mac, came up with the really great idea of let's do a scavenger hunt. So we separated all the girls in the cars. We made them switch up. We gave them a list of things that they had to accomplish, and they had to take pictures or videos to prove that they did this. And so it was all throughout the two-hour drive that every car was on this competition to complete all of the tasks, and it just made – the trip so much more fun that as much as rugby is about the game and about the sport it is so much more about the bond that you build with the people around you and how you know you can turn an unfortunate loss into something that is so much bigger and so much more fun and, and and it's all is about that support and love for each other and for the game so that was one of my favorites it was a good time <laughs> <laughs> Um, so the other thing that I just wanted to share too, kind of thinking about right now, this quarantine and kind of how it's hard to have rugby culture when, you know, we can't see each other, we can't be in games, we don't have the after matches where we can kind of socialize and get to know each other. Um, we've had the opportunity to be part of this rugby group. So some fellow ruggers throw across this, I think the U S created, um, there's a rugby page and it started off just about handful of friends and it just spread and it grew and it grew and there was an article that was actually written about it um because I think there's over like, it's like 47,000 yeah almost 50,000 people um from all over the world now so there's people from different countries they're everywhere and it's just all these different ruggers and they share silly things like memes and and other things um <laughs> but the coolest thing the thing that I took the biggest part away is that I mean, you can be a rugby player from anywhere over the world, and there's so much for us to relate to with each other just because of rugby and rugby culture. And one of the cool things is they're putting together this um, apparel order. So it's T-shirts, shorts, patches, um, things like that, that all of the proceeds are going to an organization that's actually run by a rugby player as well called, I think it's Find Your Anchor or What's Your Anchor? Mm -hmm. And it's all focused on helping people with mental health and substance use. And, and what a cool opportunity that a bunch of ruggers got together on Facebook, made a page that we could joke and laugh with each other. And it's doing something so much bigger than that. And, and that is what the true essence of what rugby culture is, is that you can play a team that you absolutely despise on the field, but after you shake their hand and you, and you have a good time with them. And it's, there's so much that is so appreciated about rugby that's so different than any other sport. That's best sport there is. Some of my favorite memories with my teammates were uh, having picnics on the pitch at midnight. Mm -hmm. uh, my rookie year, they came and kidnapped us and brought us to the pitch and they brought us Lunchables and snacks and we were able to just share our memories throughout the season. Um, just the fun little shenanigans that that happened. Um, that's really what the memories that I'll take away from rugby and, and what I really cherish. So this week, 
the only assignment. Um, please, 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 I'm begging you, please join us for this, is we are going to do a luau on Zoom on our Thursday call at six o'clock. So the winner that is best dressed, best theme, like get creative, uh, you will win a prize. This week's, um, I guess this week's challenge is brought to you by a very young coach, Holloway. Uh, this was from when Barry was my coach in college and he, this was our, our last banquet um, for the spring season. So I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you enjoy some fun um, at the end of this video. But I would love to take a team picture from our spring 2020 season this Thursday, come dressed in your best luau, six o'clock, Zoom. I hope Snooki and I aren't the only ones there. Hey. Hey. It'll be a good time, ladies. Just come, be as creative as you can. Show us what you've got. Don't go out and buy anything, but whatever you have in the, in your house. Show us what you, what luau options or activities you have, or decorations, whatever it might be. But get <laughs> creative, and we will see you Thursday. Make it a priority. We uh, will be out looking for you. And like Max said, if you want to win a cool prize? Show up. We'll see you Thursday. Yes. Have a good week. Have a good week.